Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, so, in Windows 11, how does it look? And what are the uh, how many security flaws are there in Windows 11? 21H2 and 22H2. Uh, of course, today is Patch Tuesday, and the security updates are here. So, for both 21H2 and 22H2, if we look at the critical flaws. They are uh, the same as Windows 10. So basically, uh, they are exploited in the wild for the most part. And they are from the same uh, three from the Windows Routing and Remote Access Service, uh, which has a remote code execution vulnerability, the Microsoft Message Queuing Remote Code, and the Windows Layer 2 Bridge Network Driver, and the Windows Pragmatic General Multicast. These are the same. Uh, shared for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Uh, of course, on Windows 10, and I told you we had 82 vulnerabilities. Well, on Windows 11, if you're on 21H2, you have 85 vulnerabilities, and you have six critical, 79 important. And in 22H2, it's 84 vulnerabilities, one less, six critical, 78 important. Um, one of the things that I get asked regularly, and this is an example this month, there's 82 flaws on Windows 10, 85 on Windows 11. Um, isn't Windows 11 more secure? Well, it has different code, even though underlying code has a lot of uh, similarities. There's still some new code in here. And, of course, sometimes it's normal that um, the uh, newer um, version of Windows has more security flaws simply because it has newer code that is not existent in Windows 10. It doesn't mean anything about you know one version versus the other being more or less secure. It really has to do with the fact that it has different code, so it might have a different number of security flaws. Most months it's very similar. This month there's a little more in the Windows 11 version. But if you look at the critical ones, it's actually the same. So uh, that's what we have for Windows. It's very important uh, as uh, there's a lot of security flaws that are fixed, but mostly those critical flaws that are actually already exploited in the wild, which means that, you know, uh, not just going on the web. When, you know, we talk about that, somebody said, well, you know, I'm not going to malicious websites that could have that bad code, so I'm okay. Yeah, well, it could be through an email. You might receive emails, and you might have opened an email that is a junk email from some, you know, spam or whatever. But it might contain that malicious code that is enough to actually exploit one of the flaws. So be careful. It's extremely important to update your systems this month to stay safe for both Windows 11 21H2 and Windows 11 22H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.